Grunfeld Defense, Exchange, Modern Exchange Variation, 7, C58.B300. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. White played a bit better than black in the opening. Both players navigated the middle game well. Both players had incredible precision in the end game. Opening with the queen's pawn. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. By taking control of the crucial d5 square and creating a space on which the knight can move to c3 without obstructing the c-pawn, move c4 helps to create a strong center. With the help of the king's Indian defense, white can get ready to develop the bishop to g7 and create a powerful center that black will later try to damage. And c3 prepares the e2 e4 pawn push and helps control the d5 square. The Grunfeld defense uses this pawn push to gain space in the center and attack the c4 pawn. Cx d5 opens up the center, after black recaptures with nx d5, white is prepared to answer with e2 e4. nx d5 recaptures the d5 pawn and places the knight in the center, where it controls many important squares. e4 takes full control of the center and attacks the knight on d5. nx c3 trades the attacked knight, and gives white a large center that black will attempt to attack. Bx c3 recaptures the knight and supports the d4 pawn. c5 takes space in the center, attacks the d4 pawn and prepares to develop the queen's knight behind the c pawn. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. As a result, the bishop grows and gains flexibility on the long diagonal. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is the last book move. Although the score was nearly equal, white now has the upper hand. It is incorrect. This disregards a more effective approach to advance a rook from its starting square. It is incorrect. This defends the pawn that was attacked. That's good. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. It is best. This misses a chance to build a knight outside of its beginning square. It is incorrect. Although white lost their edge, the game is still almost evenly matched. It is incorrect. The game was almost evenly matched, but black is now worse. It is incorrect. Although white had had the upper hand, the game is now almost even. It is incorrect. A wise decision. It is quite good. When a rook retreats, this attack wins a tempo. That's good. This overlooks an opportunity to block an attack on a vulnerable rook. It is a mistake. Although white lost their edge, the game is still almost evenly matched. It is incorrect. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. It is ideal. This gains time by putting a queen in danger and getting it to flee. It is ideal. The queen is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. The knight can now control more squares as a result. It is ideal. This defends an underdefended pawn that is inadequately attack. That's good. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. It is incorrect. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. This ignores an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. This allows the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a knight. It is a mistake. This displays a queen attack. That's good. The queen is therefore moved to safety. It is ideal. This confines the opponent's king while also moving a rook to the seventh rank, activating it. It is ideal. This protects the bishop who was attacked. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. The knight becomes more active as a result, gaining control over more of the board. 
it is ideal. This threatens to double the pawns in front of the king. It is good. This let the adversary to threaten a knight and win a tempo. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to threaten a knight and gain a tempo. It is incorrect. Although white had had the upper hand, the game is now almost even. It is incorrect. The knight can now control more squares as a result. It is ideal. A powerful play. It is quite good. The opposing bishop gets kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. This poses the risk of producing a passed pawn. It is incorrect. Although the game was almost evenly balanced, white now holds the advantage. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to obtain a winning position. This ignores an opportunity to create a passed pawn. It is a miss. The bishop is now in a secure position. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. It's all right. That's good. This misses a chance to pose a pawn winning threat. It is incorrect. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Recaptures. A passing pawn could be promoted as a result of this. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. A pawn can now effectively protect another piece because of this. It is ideal. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. It is ideal. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. There was only one good move in that position. This overlooks an opportunity to increase a bishop's scope by moving it to a better square. It is a mistake. That falls flat. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. That's a decent move. That's good. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. That's good. It is a fair deal after all captures. That's good. Recaptures. Black is equal at this point in the endgame. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. That pawn was available for free. It is ideal. This requires an open file, a typical technique for rook activation. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. A pawn kicks the opposing bishop, forcing it to move or risk being captured. That's good. The bishop is now in a secure position. It is ideal. Now that the rook is on an open file, it is easier to control squares all over the board. It is ideal. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This protects a bishop who was being attacked and lacked defense. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This moves the checking rook farther away. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This defends the attacked bishop. It is best. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. White played a bit better than black in the opening. Both players navigated the middle game well. Both players had incredible precision in the end game.